Hey, what's crack a lackin' everybody? This is my review of Marvel Legends Red She-Hulk. Red She-Hulk is part of the Hitmonkey Build-A-Figure wave. Uh, she does come with the torso and legs to build the complete Hitmonkey figure. I'm not planning on collecting all the figures to do that, but nevertheless, she does come with that uh, torso piece. Uh, she does come with this pamphlet here, Tales of the Monkey, Part 3 of 3. You can read the text there. Got a picture of Spider-Man there. On the back here is just a sh description showing you all the parts that form the hit monkey, as well as a list of the figures you need to collect in order to build the complete hit monkey figure. And here is the uh, torso piece and legs I was talking about. This is all. This all comes with uh, Red She Hulk. Uh, you can see. You know it's got articulation at the neck, of course, the hips swivel up the uh, thigh, bend at the knee. It looks like a ball joint at the ankles. So I'm not planning on, on actually building the whole figure, but you do get this part of Hitmonkey. So let's move on to the uh, packaging, which I always really enjoy about these new Marvel Legends figures. Uh, excellent artwork you can see there in the front. Uh, you got some there on behind the actual plastic bubble as well. Really cool. And on the back you have uh, really uh, the same kind of artwork here. Uh, it's just really, really nice. Well, it's very fantastic. I do love this. And I actually do keep these uh, uh, card backs because the artwork is so good. And you have a look at the other three figures uh, you need to collect or to build the Hit Monkey. So let's move on to the figure herself. And uh, she does have really nice posability. I've got her kind of propped up against the background here because she kept falling down. You can get her to stand here with the right balance. You can see here. But uh, during the course of my uh, previous uh, test uh, reviews here, she kept falling down. So I decided to prop her against the, the backdrop. But you can see here, she's standing on her own. And uh, she's got the nice, uh, I believe they call it the uh, Savage Sword. And uh, as I said so many times before, I do love figures with swords, and I do love the female figures as well. And I would say uh, overall, the nice thing about this figure is, while it's very articulated, it does look feminine. Uh, a lot of the older Marvel Legends, uh, you know, like uh, from the Toy Biz times, uh, they looked, they had articulation, but they didn't look that great because the joints uh, compromised the overall look of the female figure. Uh, let's go ahead and look at her sword. You can see it holds quite well. It's a little loose, but um, let's go ahead and show you that. Let's see if I can get her to stand up there. Um, so here's the sword. Whoops. Or maybe not. So here's the sword. Very cool. You can see it's quite big. Uh, and let's look at the uh, figure herself here, just uh, from uh, head to toe here. As you can see, really nice detailed sculpting in the hair. Pretty nice uh, feminine uh, face sculpt, as you would hope so, for a female-based uh, action figure. And like I say, overall, the body looks good in terms of the articulation joints not really... Uh, compromising the shape of the feminine figure uh, sculpt. So it's really nice. Uh, articulation, let's start at the feet here for a change. Uh, the, I guess you call this a rocker joint here, uh, or a pivot joint. You can see the, uh, the foot itself moves around this ball joint. Well, not really a ball joint, but the hinge here. But what that does allow you, of course, is to actually get her legs in a really wide stance and you know with a little bit of fiddling you can get her to stand with a kind of a battle stance with her sword in there so that's nice then you have a hinge at the ankle uh, your nice double jointed uh, knee swivel at the thigh you've got articulation at the uh, hip as you can see you want to rotate that depending on which direction you want the leg to go uh, so there you go there's that uh, there is uh, ab articulation Probably a, a ball joint type of connection, which is good. Very nice. Uh, you got the, uh, let's see what we got going on here, swivel and a hinge at the wrist. A single joint at the elbow, 
swivel the bicep and then you have arms that are the shoulders that, that is go out on a hinge around and of course the head articulation is present although the hair is going to hinder somewhat uh, that range of articulation but you can get her head to move just about enough to look off to the side a little bit like that you can see it's good so overall if you like this character I recommend you pick her up because the articulation is great uh, especially at the ankles here and while it does have a lot of articulation joints the overall female form is is not compromised too much I don't think and this kind of just popped into my mind because I actually was previously watching uh, Mortal Kombat Annihilation and this reminds me of I think it's Sindel she has this outfit with the purple and the black you can make me make a custom Mortal Kombat figure out of this uh, particular sculpt maybe uh, but yeah she's I mean she's got really long legs which is not a problem for me uh, because this is a female character after all so that's really good as well so yeah not much else to say uh, this has uh, been a review of the Marvel Legends Red She-Hulk from the Hitmonkey Build-A-Figure wave of action figures alright guys and gals catch you later